your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Amanda Callahan and here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. Turning now to developing news out of Springfield where crews responded to an accident on McKnight Street. This was the scene when our Western Mass News crews arrived and you can see a car has crashed into a house. Officials are still investigating the cause of the crash to be sure to stick with Western Mass News for the latest as it comes into our newsroom. Over in East Hampton, Maple Street School will be closed today. Officials say this is due in part to a whole host of issues caused by the cold weather, setting flooding caused by broken pipes and a lack of heat in the school. A similar story over in Greenfield, where Greenfield Community College will be closed today due in part to the extreme cold and a pipe that burst over the weekend. Thankfully, the damage has not reached any classrooms or the COVID-19 testing site on campus. All right, good morning, everybody. I'm meteorologist Dan Brown. As you head out this morning, do watch out for some areas of black ice, some refreeze. We even had some scattered snow showers last night, so might be leaving just a little bit of a of an icy coating on the ground. So be careful of that. And the cold and wind there back today. Temperatures will be in the 20s. Also back today, though, is the sunshine. So at least we have that. But you know what? I think we're going to be milder by tomorrow afternoon. After a cold start, we're going to be back up near 40 degrees tomorrow afternoon. A system comes through tomorrow night into Thursday morning. It could bring us some rain and snow showers Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. Looks like the bulk of that, though, will, won't really get its act together and develop until it's too far out to sea. And then that'll bring in colder air behind it. So that colder air returns for today, but a warm front will move through late tonight into tomorrow morning. So temps tonight fall down into the single digits. They actually start to rise towards dawn as some clouds move in. Then tomorrow, out ahead of this cold front, we'll get up to 40 degrees or so. And then here comes that colder weather as we go into Thursday with temperatures back down to around 30 degrees. But Wednesday night into Thursday morning, we could have some snow showers around. Then we're dry the bulk of the day. And as we go into Friday, watching a storm threat for Saturday. All right, that's your forecast, everybody. Have a great day. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.